Welcome to the Paper of Montgomery County Online. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Monday, September 17, 2007. Perkins wins state bar honor. Heather Perkins received a call last week from someone at the Indiana State Bar Association and she could not tell if it was for real. Perkins, an associate attorney for Collier, Haman, and Siamas, for nearly the past two years was told that she was named an outstanding young attorney in the state of Indiana by the Indiana State Bar Association. She was admitted to the Indiana State Bar in November 2002 and was a Montgomery County Deputy Prosecutor for three years. Fish fries and dove flies. There was more than fish at the New Market on Saturday. The New Market Fire Department invited crews from a Dove Flight helicopter to the New Market Fish Fry to give the public a chance to see the helicopter up close without anyone needing to be airlifted to the hospital. Saturday's crew flew in from Hendricks Regional Hospital. Dove Flight pilot Brian Proctor said that the trip took only 11 minutes to get from Danville to New Market. Of course, according to Proctor, there were no traffic jams in the way. Church's hunger fight nears goal. A group of members from the Waynetown Christian Church were at the Waynetown Fish Fry raising money to feed the world. Allison Delp, vice president of the church's Kids Against Hunger campaign, said the church just recently started working to bring the Kids Against Hunger program to Waynetown. Delp said the church has to raise $8,000 to purchase a satellite, which is similar to a franchise, of the program. She said that the program allows you to assemble packages of food that can be shipped to anywhere in the world. This is going to be a community thing, Delp said. Anyone can get involved. Saving the world, one habitat at a time. They raise money to establish habitats to save wildlife. Members of the Coal Creek Pheasants Forever chapter gathered at the Beef House restaurant in Covington for their only fundraiser of the year, past president Don Bickle said. He said the event was a dinner and auction. Pickle said the Coal Creek chapter is made up of members from Montgomery, Warren, and Fountain counties. The Coal Creek chapter has been meeting for 15 years, during which time they have been instrumental in planting 3,000 acres of habitat. Fourth graders in the field. One Montgomery County Soil and Water Conservation District official called it another great year for the Soil and Water Conservation Field Days. Almost 500 students of the field days attended recently. All of Montgomery County's fourth graders, including the students from St. Bernard School, were invited to join in the activities. The annual event was again at the Canes Homelike Farm near Darlington. Today on our Montgomery County Today page, that's page B1 in our print edition, you can read about double donation days benefiting MCHS. Also, Montgomery Today features our popular Ask Mac column every Monday and the text version of Ag News with Joe Jarvis is available there as well. Ag News with Joe Jarvis is also available in a video edition on our website under New Media in the Video Headlines section. In local sports today, you can read about the girls golf sectional in which Stormy Staten advances to regional as the top individual golfer. Sports editor John Groth also has the story of Wabash College's football victory over Milliken. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage and pick up a print copy of the paper of Montgomery County. Have a great day.